Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I routinely discuss at least one paper a day or one research project a day which I think in my humble opinion it might become a big thing in the coming days. I have been asked a few times by some of the esteemed viewers that why I discuss these projects when there is no code or there is no implementation. That is true but uh, the reason which I feel is um, quite important is that we get to know what is in the pipeline, what exactly companies and people are working on and then I pick a few of the ones which I think might become a big thing in the coming days and we already have gone through a lot of projects which then release their models or their tools and then we also discuss them and that is the reason why I am going to discuss this yet another project which is called as Game Gen O which seems quite promising. This Game Gen O is the first diffusion transformer model specifically designed for open world video game generation. This innovative model generates high quality interactive content by simulating game engine features including characters, environments, actions and events. Game Gen O's development involves a comprehensive data collection and processing effort utilizing the newly created open world video game data set which is called as O Game Data. And this model has underwent a two stage training process enabling open domain generation and interactive controllability. They have shared some of the architectural details here which I will try to explain in as simple words as possible. First up, let's discuss the O Game Data. The O Game Data dataset in this one they collected 32,000 raw videos from the internet which were filtered and annotated by human experts resulting in 15,000 usable videos. These videos were then divided into clips using scene detection and underwent rigorous sorting and filtering based on aesthetics, optical flow and semantic content. Structured annotations were applied using expert models and multimodal large models. Decoupled labeling ensured interactive controllability as you can see on your screen. Now let me show you a few of the examples which are simply mind blowing. Let me play this overall character generation and I will drop the link to this in video description. Look at this. Can I make it a bit bigger? Oops. Can you believe that this is a game generation? Amazing, amazing stuff. And this is what I was talking about. And I will be playing a few more, so let me stop it. Let me play this one. And these are just text prompt and this has generated this video game. How good is that? Let's try this night one. I mean, look at the trees, the wind blowing across and all that stuff. Look at this indoor security guard one. Great stuff. Let's check out Robocop, Robocop and these are all character generation. Let's try this Astroneer. Amazing stuff. Look at the shadows. Very nice. The quality is really amazing. Now in order to discuss this framework, let me show you some of the pre-training and instruction tuning which has been done with this model because it is quite uh, insightful. So let's first check out the foundation pre-training, the top one. So for foundation pre-training, they employed a 2 plus 1D VAE model, which is Magwit V2, to compress clips, adapting it to the gaming domain through domain-specific tuning. A mixed training strategy varied frame rates and resolutions for cross-frame rate and cross-resolution generalization were applied. Their model architecture stacked temporal and spatial TIT blocks utilizing masking attention for text to video generation and video continuation and we just saw. And then came the bottom one, the instruction tuning. So Game Gen O achieved interactive controllability through instruct net predicting and modifying future content based on current content. Instruct Net accepts multimodal inputs, text operation signals, video prompts, and establishes a mapping relationship between current and future clip content. 
During inference, users can generate and control subsequent clip based on the current clips. And this is all there is to it. Also, they have shared other uh, data which you can check out around InstructNet, which uh, is if you there are some mathematics and the things involved. If you are into that, I will drop the link to it in video description and yet, then you can go through it. Let me show you a few more examples from environment generation. Look at this autumn. How good this looks. Very vibrant, very vivid. Let me let's check the summer. Look at the waves in the water. Very nice. How about spring? And these days it's spring in Australia. Just started. So I can relate to it. Okay, so pyramid. You see the angle. The sun is moving very nice. And then let's check out the sailing. You see the, how the sail ship is moving, bobbing with the water. And let's check the flight. Very nice. Cool. Let's check the driving. Look at the wet road. Really good stuff. What about motorcycling first person? Very nice. Let's check the third person. Cool. I mean, this really makes me play some video games at the moment. Look at this carriage. Great stuff. Looks so real. Okay. And then this is a sun rising. We already have seen it. Let's check out the fire. Wow, that's intense. And then there are some other open domain generation. For example, look at this one. Magic Steam Airship. Look at the whole environment. Looks real cool. How about this Holy Kingdom? Very nice. And then you can just see the ghost walking under the blue moon. This is really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. And then there are various examples, as you can imagine, I can't play all of them. But let me just check this one out, the car drive. So this is the whole text prompt, you see. So the car drives through a city intersection at sunset with a horse statue visible. In the background, there you go, the horse statue. Uh, statue sorry in this sequence from the open world game Grand Theft Auto 5 a sleek black muscle car is seen navigating through a downtown intersection at dusk very nice the whole text prompt has been converted into a video game generation real good stuff so that's it guys I will leave you with this um, video and i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what 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 do you think it's really mind-blowing i can't wait to get my hands on this model and then install it and then show you guys how we can generate the games with just a text prop and it's not far away if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching